My name's Ali. Hi, um, my name is Susie. My name is Stephen Hatch. Hello, my name is Angel Andahar. Hi, uh, my name is Jesse. I'm from Bangor, Maine. I'm with Freedom Homes. I went through the woman's home about four years ago and it completely radically changed my life. I've been lost, broken. Uh, I was addicted to heroin, struggling bad with anxiety. Four years ago, I was bound by addictions, drugs, perversion. I was homeless. I was living in massive sin. I was in drunkenness all the time. I was searching for drugs all the time. I used to be addicted to drugs, just bound by sin, caught up in perverse lifestyle. About three months ago, well, about four months ago, I found myself homeless on the streets of Milan, New Jersey. I was in foster care, suicidal. I fell into this hole where I just couldn't come out of. One day I found myself in a soup kitchen at a church getting food, crying out to one of the ladies there for help. And she handed me a card, gave me uh, Alfred DeFeo's number, who is uh, the executive director of Freedom Homes Dwelling Place. I've been in this house for three months and wonderful things have started happening. God set me free, he brought me here. I was living in New Hampshire, reconnected with my biological family after 22 years. They had a home opened in Bangor, Maine. I just hit rock bottom and I came across this program um, and they just picked me up off my feet and brought me into their arms. We spoke for a little bit. He told me that he had a place for me at the end of the week, a, a bed for me. He kept his word. Um, they took me into their home and provided a safe place for me. I. Um, found a lot of courage, uh, self-dignity, um, knowledge, patience, love. And I ended up getting connected to this ministry and God began pursuing me. I just sold everything and came down here because I believe in the vision that Pastor Bobby has. And the Lord and the program have just kept me on my feet and have brought me back in um, a life of freedom for myself. I had a roof over my head, food in my stomach, and I was able to kick heroin on my own without any rehab help, any uh, substitute drug, which I thought was impossible. It's not about me, it's about his, him, his will, his glory. Through him, anything is possible. It birthed a passion inside of me to not only see my life change, but to see the lives of other women radically changed. I owe it all to God. I also owe it to God for blessing me with the opportunity to be in the Freedom Homes. Uh, Pastor Bobby and Alfred DeFeo took me in and I'm very grateful for them. And I've been blessed. No longer am I in the addiction and hiding from the world with that addiction. I am out in seeking the happiness I've been looking for all my life. Thanks to the Lord and thanks to this program. So we are so excited for what God is gonna do here in this city and through this home. And um, we're just excited to do life with these women and to just see what God is gonna do in their life and the way that he's gonna change them.